That appears to be the most active device, the grub, that's moving quite a bit. I hope it stays in focus. But that's that thing. Well, I've got here the wasp nest, and I'm just going to have a look what's inside these uh, sleeves. Um, there should be more or less wasps in there, I think. Cat, get away! in here. Hey, there you go. There is a half developed wasp here. That's quite cool, it's not even ready. So let's get a, is this on the camera? Yeah, so I'm gonna take these out. So I've got incomplete wasp here. I'll see another thing moving here. Here got a grub. Can I pick it up? I'll just get it in a different position. Stand by. Here we've got a grub from a wasp. Here we've got a white wasp which is not fully complete yet. Let the grub moving. Okay, it's hard to see what I see on the camera. Um, in here, here's some devices in here too, so let's see if we can take this out. Another grub there, I think. Um, oh, whip it apart. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's in land in view, and it's this one. There we have a, a white wasp. I'll move these up a bit. So, we've got a couple of white wasps. We're gonna pull a few more apart. See what we're gonna find in this uh, device here. This is a bigger one. Now these devices here at least haven't got the chance to become a proper wasp, so they've been taken apart before um, they could start the engines ever. So here we just got a collection of uh, wasps in different uh, scenarios. Here we got a grub. Um, the eggs are very hard to get out of here. And here they are in different stages. Uh, there's another grub here, or whips, or whatever you want to call it. Small wasp, a bit bigger wasp. They're on different stages of development. Really cool, really cool. Good lighting is nice and bright. That the device is not moving much, and that one wagging its tail. So the stinger goes in the rear end, of course, at some stage. Those wasp demos don't seem to move much. That's strange because the little device is working. What I'm planning to do is I'm going to leave this nest and put it in the sun. The only problem is I'll be going on holiday shortly, so I cannot see what's going to happen whether these evacuate themselves, yay or nay. I'm going to put this uh, cluster near the other nest and uh, yeah. I can see if they've come out yay or nay, that's just going to be interesting, really cool. Carefully look, you can see some grubs moving in these things here. So, I think it was successful in uh, exterminating my niece's wasp nests and uh, it's just good to have a look how these things are actually um, put together. Still it's amazing that in a brain cell of a tiny wasp um, they can design these structures. There's all these nice hexagonal cells. The other one, the stem is broken off, but this little stem here at the bottom seems to be able to support the whole device by itself, so it's quite powerful. Like this one I broke the stem, but uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. So, it's just, uh, yeah, just interesting in the name of science. Uh, we have analyzed some wasps and some wasp grubs. Thanks for watching.
you can see the air larvae as well. I think on the previous shot you can actually see the queen, I think. It looks like she laid an egg because her rear rectox had partially opened up. And the device was uh, reversing into the sleeve. 